Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome aboard again to ASRNZ's coverage of the official ASRNZ 2020 Assetto Corsa Competition GT3 season. And tonight we are at Imola for round two. And as usual, and always, I have my good friend, the J-Man, by my side to, to call tonight's proceedings. Welcome, J-Man. We were at uh, uh, ASRNZ with the Cito Corsa Competizione G3 yes. Series. Yes, it is, it is, but uh, yes, well... <laughs> But don't we love it? So it's worth the mouthful. Hundred <laughs> percent. We'll, uh, we'll just leave that there. But um, for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> but look, let's just crack on. The boys are just sitting. We're at round two. Uh, just quickly yep. again. It's Imola. It's a seventy-minute race, so it's a standard format race. Uh, we had a cracking race last week, uh, mate, full of action at Alton Park. A uh, very eventful race. We may get into that later on. But just quickly, mm. let's have a look at the points. We do have the points up after round one, J-Man. Uh, what can we take from that? Just let's have a look who's leading. Uh, Crossland, obviously. The... Yep, we could take that Crossy carried his form through from uh, from the shakedown and, and implemented it in race one. Uh, welcome back, Tom Southerly with a second position. Um, Aztec taking out third there with a reshuffle of positions post-race penalties. Saw Cameron May uh, actually cop one on the chin there for something. I'm not sure, maybe let one incident. So uh, C is not there tonight. So if you are watching, Cam, uh, just yeah. sucking some big ones there, brother. We want you back. Yeah, um, yeah, and hope you enjoy I, the coverage there. Yeah, but that did shuffle things around a little, didn't it, yeah, in the, uh, the, the top few positions there. But basically what we're looking at there on the board at the moment is the finishing positions mm. from mm. Um, from last week. You can see the winners and the position getters, pro, pro-am and veteran, uh, J-Man, Yep. Um, nothing out of the ordinary to look at at this stage, I suppose, after round one, really, is it? No, mate, and I just got to just mention just quickly, we have seen the cars just jump out uh, into track for quali, and it is a very wet and windy looking quali. Okay, so, we do uh, see a we'll little touch, bit of rain. We'll touch a bit more on the graphics at, at a later stage in respect to the championships, because there's a little bit to talk to about that with the... Uh, with I guess an, an introduction category of the veteran class category here, and you can see the class and round winners there. Uh, we'll touch base on that a bit more uh, later in the night, or maybe a little bit more time next week's stream. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. This one will be big. Um, it will be big, mate. Let's watch the boys as they just quickly start to roll out into qualifying. Uh, as you mentioned, the wind has picked up and, mm. mate, not just the wind, the wind has brought the rain. So, look, this is really going to just really put a spanner in the cog of some of these yep. guys. Have you, um, uh, have, you got a drive, have you got a drive button there for us, Davo, and you got yeah. somewhere where you're looking? Let's, let's just do that. Yep. Quickly. And... Uh, we are currently watching Craig Stanley. Thank you very much, Jamie. We've got a black screen. Let's see. Oh, no, here we go. Hey, Craig Stanley, obviously a very, very quick um, week's worth of practice for this guy up there challenging the likes of this week, Mudgy, Jeff Rowe, and Crossy himself. We know Crossy's all, all class and all pace, um, but the Bentley's looking strong early in the week and the Aston as well, Davo. Oh, hasn't it? What? Yeah. Uh, the Ferrari and the McLaren not so much in the dry conditions here at Imola. Um, what we've seen is that it's it's a track that a lap time is generated by smashing these big curbs um, as we see well... Stoney just coming down into the left-hander which is Tosa um, and about to try and get the, all this power down heading up the hill up heading to the Furatella. Heading yep. up the hill through that little slight right-hander before they get in to uh, turn nine and ten, the Piratella, like you said, 
J-Man, but um, yeah, look, it's a given, isn't it? When you, it's it's very similar to Monza. When you get these chicanes on these tracks where they've tried to slow some of these old school tracks down, mm. the key is to get through that stuff as quick as possible and keep that momentum. And that means c corner clipping, you know, like, and you've got to get a yeah, car yeah. to be able to deal with it and get the yep. suspension tweaked accordingly. Um, yep. And we're seeing that these front rears, um, I, I, the, the, the Merck, the Aston and the Bentley are doing it really well and some of the mid rears. But we could, we could potentially throw it all out the window, Davo, because um, what's not to say that now we've got a bit of precipitation? Well, that, that the, the, the uh, rear-mounted cars, the McLaren <laughs> and the Ferrari, might get played back in here. Absolutely. Like I said, like we've been watching practice all week. Um, the guys have been doing, obviously, a fantastic job, but we have seen no rain so like all their lead up um set up and um practice has been on a dry track albeit a little bit colder one day to the next but yep. no rain so this will be interesting we might just flick through back over to i just who went out first um so I to pick up on john mcdonald there he has okay, looks like crossy uh right behind him it the Pink Panther. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, no, it's Pete Epsi. Sorry, it's mate. Epsi. It's the sister car. Yep, yep, it's the sister car. The brother so, car. We're not gender specific here. It could oh, be, we're definitely not confused yeah. about our gender. So yeah. um, we're in here, but um, yeah, just interesting to see how McDonald deals with this. Oh, Pete's actually catching him there, mate. So. Mm. He did look like he catch, caught him up the hill there, but a little bit, a little of, understeer, bit, of, bottleneck. Little bit mm. of understeer out of the chicane at the top of the hill there at Alta as they run down the hill now. There is the crossy car just that, cycling I up ready for a lap. I thought I just saw that flick past. So it was Mudgy first across the line in one of the Bentleys with a 50. Mm. Now, what were we looking at earlier in practice? Just so, 40, 41 would be a special lap in the dry. That's uh, we, right. we, we saw Stoners go oh, 42 close. 0. Yep. Um, but, you know, that said. So, um, look, there you go. So you're looking, at, you're looking at nearly 10 seconds. Uh, slower. Yep. Uh, welcome to the viewers watching live. Um, we appreciate your support, and uh, I understand that Zero Vision and Davo been very busy during the week for you guys. And actually, you'll notice on the graphics now uh, you asked for it, and you have got some uh, real time splits um, on the on the yeah, um, on do, the tower. This we week. do have a bit of live timing, and you can also see this little pit indicator there, so you'll be able to tell whether the boys are in or out. And yes, yep. thank you very much to all the live viewers, and obviously the boys will watch this back later. Yes, so g'day guys. You yeah. <laughs> but, obviously um, that, that graphic uh, come race time, that green box you can see illuminated now will be uh, orange. Um, or magenta, whatever you want to call it, yep. and it will turn green uh, As once these guys have stopped and completed their mandatory completed their control stop. stop. Yes, yep. that's correct. Uh, what are we seeing times-wise? We're seeing Stoners up on the top with a 48.9, Aztec with a 49.8. I might just pick uh, up on Aztec. I noticed he's just changed okay, yep. his colour scheme again, but go on. He sorry. does this. Yeah, no, he's, he's very much confused. Um, really with his appearance during these seasons we've come to know now that uh, I clearly think he's a he's got a PPG sponsor or something because we see this thing it's almost a, a chameleon yes. it, it's a chameleon really and uh, it, it changes to its surroundings um, <laughs> so, so if we hence it's raining it's gone yeah. blue so <laughs> yeah yeah so I mean if we see it red we know he'll be probably pretty angry um, yeah but you know just just making his way through the a little bit of a anybody, drying any, line. Anybody there you think we should be picking up on their... Um, I just see Steve Crossland run into a 49-1. Yeah, Kenny, Kenny Simpson um, just um, coming up to... Is he, where is he? He is Cur coming in intent. through the Piratella. Yeah, in the Piratella, coming down yeah. to Aqua Minerale. If you could pick up with Kenny, I yeah, think he's going to make good on a time here that will see him move up to the front two rows. Now, Kenny, real life, is a dirt track racer and uh, in the door banger style stuff. I'm not sure exactly the class he runs in. But uh, look, this rain 
Well, yeah, he might right be. up his alley. A little bit he of won't be uncomfortable. No, a little bit of looseness on the track will not affect Kenny. If not, if anything, he will shine uh, maybe above some other uh, yep. drivers out there tonight. And but Crossy in, to the to the front row provisionally P two. Now that's not unexpected, is it, J Man? Now just no. look at it that time. So now forty eight Kenny, Kenny, Kenny is on the move. Kenny will post a pretty reasonable time here. Okay, let's have a look at this. It's one point five up on his time. Yep. That will okay, get him so right comes up, up there. Into actually, the third row. fifth position for Kenny. Yep. Forty nine three. He can make good on that. Um, so just Jacques, shows, you, just shows you, just and the Ferrari is about to move up quite substantially. Just shows you how uh, quick these guys get on with the water, because they're not actually that far behind now. No, not really. Uh, see, there is a bit of a drying line, as we see. I just picked up myself, Dave O and John McDonald, still with Aztec behind him. These guys running this qualifying session with three and a half minutes to go, line stern. 1.3 seconds up is the call for John McDonald, which will see him improve massively to a 49-6 season, goes row five. Um, yeah, so no, he went up, he went yep. up, went down. Um, yep, yep. Movers and shakers. Tom Savile's looking good for an improvement on his lap time. I'm not sure where he is on track. Um, Let me see if I can find Thomas here. Okay, oh, he's sort he's of just, plateaued out. Yeah, yep. he's just coming. Yeah, he's just going into T1. Oh, yep, so now he's on an 8 8. Okay, an eight, Jos eight. So Mr. Jos, well up on his lap at the moment in one of the Astons. Um, got a little word that um, Ashley was a half chance of not making it here tonight, so I hope you are feeling okay, Ash, and. Um, Yes. And, and, you, and you have an enjoyable night. Um, so, well done, guys, for whoever's posting spam. Uh, you will be banned. I will get rid of you on the chat. If you want to deal with that. Um, yep. Yeah, so Mr. Josco, yeah, now 2.6 seconds up on his time. Ash... Uh, I think Ash is in the pits. He's completed a lap at, with a 49. Not too bad there, actually. Uh, just looking at uh, Biko, too. He's had his his qualifying as well. He's done and dusted. I just noticed there, actually, Aztec to the top provisionally with a 48.6. Craig Stonely, which pushed Craig Stonely down into second. Tom Satterley has actually moved up into third, although we thought he'd played out a little bit, which pushed Steve Crossan down. Now, Steve Crossan's actually just come across the line in the Pink Panther, and he has pushed back up onto the um, inside of the second, second row. row. So, yeah. not, Jeff Burst on the... Uh, inside of the first row, uh, third row, should I say, with Kenny right behind it. Just see Stonely again trading yeah, places with Aztec's times there. Yeah, so, Josco's a half a chance to move up to the second row at this pace now, as well, too. He were on Josco on his in his last lap and and was very tight. This car does not look like it's working at all. No, uh, he looks comfy in the yeah, rain. He looks um, very comfortable in that. He is that British. Car, so. He probably bought the rain <laughs> to Italy. So he's right at home there, hundred percent. And um, and we just I noticed Mudgy is done and dusted with a forty nine four. Uh, he's given it away. Is he? He's in the pits. Kenny's in the oh, pits. Oh, Josy have a, having a big oh, lose. Oh, that's unfortunate there actually yep. for Josy there. He would hustle he to get one hard. more lap in. That? that was one of the other. He's given it away. Uh, the Merc. It looked like uh, Crossy might have followed him in there a little bit. Crossy is in the fence hard. Yeah, so Crossy, unfortunately, there yep, would have be been chasing wrote. for that uh, top row, that first row there, I'd, I'd say, J-Man. Have you got a camera for Farmer in the dying seconds of this uh, qualifying oh, session? Let's see. Find it. You know, there it you know, is. He's otherwise, just... you'd be guilty of not upping your game, as he just has a half oh, a lose down oh, on the Tamarillo, oh, but gathers it up. You call that a lose? How snappy was he on the steering there? Yeah, he oh, was awake to that. <laughs> that yeah, he that must have went to bed early last night because he was all over that. That was perfection. Oh. So, you look, admitted, you know, self, um, like he did come in earlier this evening and say that he, that you know, like, he, to be honest, that he was struggling oh, a McKellar little with it. So, um, yeah, tough for, 
for yep. some of the uh, mid-rear cars just to come to grips with this thing. As Farmer again gets it yep. all drifting around the final corner. Uh, He's had guys, enough. He's into the guys on improved like laps the late this session, Davo, would be Nick Davidson, Matt Cook and Brennan Rolf. All yeah, on improved so laps in the dying second. Only a few boys left here, really, as we pick up on Davidson there. Um, J-Man yep. in the Merc. Around four tenths up. So Comes yeah. out of... Aqua Minerali heading up to the Alta Chicane, carrying about a half a second, which would see him, if he could move into the ninth, he would end up inside 14 at this point. Oh, maybe, yeah, definitely, definitely. He'd get, maybe get, maybe get, 13. Get, get, get him up into four, 13th or 14th there. Yep. Um, I just see uh, B-Dog actually well up on his time as well, but also a little bit behind on these boys here. I don't think he'll make much gain from that, but yeah, let's just stick with uh, Nick Davison here at the moment as he surrounds the final corner. Comes through the final two corners, which is the Revaza. And down the straight, which is well, a, bit, a, bit, a bit, bit of a curve, but yeah, he's got a good improvement here, so let's just see where he lands. 14th okay, so position, yeah, 40. as, as predicted there, J-Man. Yep. Nice work. Look at that track, mate. That looks so, wet. That looks uh, wet. Big the... congratulations to Craig Stonely. Awesome. Uh, well on done, a provisional Craig Stonely. Pole. Um, and I just noticed Jackson um, uh, went, uh, went has um, just pipped Aztec as well and just it's pushed a P2. him just pushed him back onto the Aztec wow. onto the second row. So nice work from Vent there. Um, Steve Crossland obviously didn't improve, had a little bit of an off, so he's on the outside on the uh, second row as well. But um, yeah, yep. what a uh, tricky little qualifying there, J-Man. Um, Great qualifying. I might just take a minute. It seems we've got a slight little overrun. I won't upset this guy too much because I'll give him a chance to upload his fuel and his, uh, and, and his race tyres and what have you. But have we, will grab, no, we will grab our pole sitter down here. Craig Stonely, have you got comms on us, mate? Hey, how you going? Hey, mate, uh, great work in the wet there, buddy. Uh, I, I know we briefly had a chat off air earlier, and, uh, you know, we were sort of talking about, you know, I asked you if you were in a position to adapt to any weather conditions and you were confident that uh, you had something up your sleeve, and you clearly did, mate. Well done. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no, I didn't think it was going to be uh, that much of a weather change, but, yep. Yeah, hey, look, day to day, it. it, day to day, it's hard to say. You know, you you, you practice Friday, you quali Saturday. Who knows what uh, Sunday at midday is going to bring to mate? You know, uh, it's anybody's guess. So I guess you yeah, hard out. You're waiting for the sessions to change over before you load the setup. Fortunately, this week you've got another uh, a minute, uh, another minute up your sleeve once you go to grid. This week you have got two minutes as opposed to as opposed to one. Um, oh, yeah, that's good. So, eh? Yeah, well, well done on the quali, mate. It was a, it was a really classy lap, and I tell you what, the positions changed right up to the end with Jackson actually, actually yep. sharing the front row with you. Awesome uh, we, work, mate. Eh? Awesome yeah, we work. thought it was going to be Aztec, but yeah. uh, no, well done. No, nice, yeah, mate. Yeah. We won't keep you too much longer. Right, you mate. get your pit stuff together, brother, and um, yeah, good Just luck tonight, there, Craig. Mate. Yeah, cheers, guys. Okay, uh, see you, mate. User was moved out well, of your channel. Work. As we see them go to grid, and look what another day brings, and the sun's out. Yeah, look how it could change. Yeah. So you know, it's it's a real it's a real shuffle up, I suppose. Dave. You know, um, at the end of the day. Absolutely, absolutely. The, guy, the guys will be sitting there scrambling now. Uh, one thing's for sure: what has happened here at ASRNZ is you do only get five sets of tyres for a race weekend. Here, that is for your hour of practice. Your 12 minutes quality and your 70 minute race with a mandatory uh, fuel stop, time fix fuel stop, 25 seconds, five seconds longer to take tyres. I understand most of the guys will do that. Um, so they have effectively used one less set of tyres for the night, which they will have up their sleeve. As they would have been running on wets in quality, exactly. Unlimited uh, amount of wet. So, yep. um, yeah, nice to see. Nice to see. It's round two. We're at Imola, mate. Like you just mentioned, 70 minute race. It's a standard format race tonight. Um, yep. Look, we've got a reasonable number of guys in here. We know there's a couple of boys off with injuries and, and work. So 23 on yeah, the, get, the grid get, tonight. Get better, uh, be grills, mate. It's a, it's a shame not to see you on the grid, mate, but I uh, hope you're enjoying the coverage. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, yeah. Hope Hopefully, uh, a speedy recovery. So, and, look, and look at this, J-Man. Yeah. So, we, we, are you where are we ready thinking, for um, this? 
Mate, where do you where do you want to look? Oh God, where do you look? You just got to chase these boys as quick as we can. For the uh, start of the race, I'll be um, a row or two back from the start. Obviously, yep. yep. We we'll probably try and get a heli cam on the start just so we can get a bit of an overview on what's going on. But um, mm. again, we got a full formation lap here, guys. Um, so quickly run away and have a, a pee, grab a beer, whatever you need to do. It's definitely no time for coffee. Just get something in your hand and get back here because this is about to go down. Yeah, you don't need coffee anyway. This stuff will keep you up. Oh, this stuff will keep you up. Keep you up like Viagra, mate. So it's yep. awesome stuff. How'd you go with your Twitch issues there? A little bit of idle chatter in the box. Oh, yeah, no, just look, opportunists coming in here trying to, um, I don't know, spam there, whatever. Um, but we, we quickly get rid of those guys. So, um, yeah, hopefully the um, comms are coming through loud and clear to you seven guys that are watching live. Um, yes. And I hope you enjoy this. Um, tell us what you think. You know, did, uh, did you guys think that Stoners had the goods in the wet? Or did you think Crossy was going to come through? And tell us what your thoughts are on the uh, the 69 car up there in fifth, and the other one is the 21 car in ninth. You know, was that predicted? Yep. Did you guys think that those the Bentleys were going to feature? But uh, outside of that, just scrolling through, um, where's the surprises? I think probably a surprise for me would be John McDonald um, down there in 23rd. Um, what happened to JB? Ah. Oh. I don't know. Well, we know he was struggling in the dry in the car, but the rain, the rain obviously really threw the, a big spanner in those works. His teammate, uh, Steve Wilton, in 12th. Um, mm. So, yeah, who knows? Um, yeah, that's definitely a big a big issue for qualifying. Well, that, that will be one car to watch actually, through the, throughout the race to see how McDonald tries to peg back some of those positions. Yeah, well, man, well, well, throughout well, I'll the tell race. You what, I, I might have a bit of a peek uh, down that end of the field as you're watching off the uh, off the start there, uh, Dave. I want to awesome. cast my cameras back down there myself and, uh, and just see what it looks like because um, I'm under no illusion that uh, the sister car of uh, Steve Crossland, Pete Apsey, I know was pretty candy in the dry, so that pink Mercedes sitting back there in P20 will be ready to go, I think, once the flag drops. Uh, one thing to consider, traditionally, this, the Aston Martins don't have a great ratio for these rolling starts at about 80k an hour. They tend to be a little bit doughy. Uh, so watch for Jackson Went in the McLaren with a slightly better gear ratio off the rolling start to try and make a jump down that final piece of the Bassa Strait. Uh, absolutely, into the absolutely. As we just see the boys grid up uh, for round two at Imola here, everyone. Uh, this is the 2021 ASRNZ GT3 season. Round two, J Man. Yeah, mate. It's all about to get started. Nice grid, guys. We looking good. for a green flag any moment now waiting for a green and we see the lights holding holding a long holding. time holding what it is green, they green, green. take off crossy with a, Cross, a reasonable start crossing not start as they the three here. wide into the first chicane Crossy with a great start. Really good start from Crossland there. And really put it out there to see if he could make another position. As the boys fight. It looks like a pretty good clean start, actually, J-Man, right throughout the field. Yep. Yeah, no movement up the back. John McDonald just taking the cautious approach. Yeah, clearly just uh, taking that caution. Pete Epsi just one. a slight run off there. As we see the back. again, Crossy having a look at the back of Aztec's car. No, that's uh, Jackson Went, mate. Oh, Jackson Wentz. 
Yep. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, it's Aztec behind, should I say, yes. Copy. Um, this is giving Stoner the nice little break that he needs just to maybe do what Crossy did Absolutely. to everybody else the final, uh, the, the previous round, where uh, a little bit of battling traffic. Is he weaving, trying to generate a little bit of front tyre temperature too? I just see there, uh, Damo. That's an interesting move on lap one. We see it every now and then. Mm. So it'd be interesting as, you know, like, oh, yeah, you, you sort of makes you wonder what their tyre pressures are like, their starting pressures are like when they do uh, stuff like that. Yeah, movers and shakers. Steve Walton making up a couple of positions off the start. He's up to 10th already. Uh, so Yeah, nice work from Steve. So there's a couple of positions there for Steve, uh, yeah. a.k.a. Barma. So yep. He's definitely upping his game. Jackson uh, Venn just holding position with Crossy uh, right up his clacker. But what Aztec and Tom Satterley now yep, side by side it. down into one. Yep, this will get really interesting as Tom Satterley gets the line. It gets it done, which has actually put Burst Jeff Burst very close behind with the sister what? car of... Uh, yeah. Mark Mudgeway right behind him. So those two Bentleys are strong here, Jay Man. Yeah, just keep your camera on Jeff Burst as they come out of the Tosa here, which is the left-hand hairpin, because what we've seen is these Bentleys been incredibly strong up the hill here. So it'll be interesting to see if he can get all that British power down up here and put a move on Aztec. We saw during the week that these guys could come out of here on certain cars and pass them around the outside. Aztec gets all of his power down, and there's nothing going to come from that. No, no. Um, up the front, uh, still much line of stern. Yeah, line Craig, of stern. Craig Stoneley's not getting away. I thought he might have no. been making a break for it. But, now, uh, Crossy did put uh, a little bit of pressure on Vent there for the first lap and a half. Oh, it's still going uh, but, on with Aztec. Um, it's, uh, that's backed off a little bit. As the Aztec um, Satterley battle is still on. Jeff Burst, rather. Now, Oh, Aztec it's the, Jeff first. Oh, yeah. it's Aztec Jeff first. Thanks, mate. Yep. Um, yeah, so Burst will want that position. He'll smell the uh, the blood of the McLaren and uh, want a bit of a go at that. And he's getting pushed by his uh, his uh, teammate there in the yep. uh, in the sister what's Bentley there. So what's the straight line speed like? Uh, I got Jeff flipping out at two hundred and. Uh, what's he? Oh, no, this is Aztec. Yeah, Looks he was bloody fast, yeah. anyway. Uh, big shout out to Kenny running in P8 currently, just off the back of this little battle from Aztec, Jeff Burst and Mudgy. So Kenny Simpson in the uh, the lime slash lime yellow half a lime. I'm not sure, whatever the yeah, Ferrari, doing but he's a doing a great job. Fantastic job as we just see Burst actually take Aztec down into. Um, Yes, he did. Villeneuve there, so... Did we catch a replay on that, or did you catch it live? I yeah, didn't quite see Yeah, we caught that one live. Yeah. Okay, nice work. All right, so Jeff Burst on the move. So Jeff, uh, yeah, definitely, um, we could see he was hungry for that position, and the, and the car's got the pace, and, I, and and obviously with the pressure from Mark, Mark's probably saying, come on, get it done, get it done, so I can get it done, and we can yeah, move come on. Yeah, come on, son, I'm yeah, coming. Yeah, and we'll just move on, you know, like, um, so... Uh, yeah, you mentioned Kenny Simpson. He's he is basically the the leading that mid pack of cars now. So that mid pack. Yeah, Charles Coe, Farmer, McKellar. McKellar, Slivetic. Uh, then we drop down to a couple of Merck, Davison, Gunther Rowe, and then back to in Joan, Melling, and Enright. Yeah, and just, the list goes on. It's, yeah, just, just something to note there too with this Mudgy Aztec battle, which is heating right up at the moment. It's probably the, the place to be right now. Is that Absolutely. As, he, as he's right underneath the wing of this uh, McLaren. I think and, he'll have him here down at one. He's definitely possibly. got the slip. Yeah. And um, the Aztec Bentley's, to cover the inside. Bentley's how brave is Mudgy? Yeah. No, he's definitely the, the McLaren's got the brakes down there. We saw it with uh, Stadley earlier in practice. Oh, so look at this though. Now, I'll tell you what. Now Jeffro, you what, what Jeff, saw, what Jeffro saw, got him down here last yeah, time. Is that the what we know is the McLaren can't use the curbs as much, Davo. And the last time when they went through the ultra chicane, Mudgy didn't use any curb 
Aztec did, and that's interesting because the second Mudgy gets a little bit hungry on the curves as he gets a really good run out of Tosa. Um, if he wants to use that bit of curb, that'll probably be all he needs to, to range up on Aztec. Yeah, definitely got a little bit up his sleeve there, yep. J-Man, without a doubt. He, look, he, he's really biding his time. You can see just in the body language of the Bentley, he's... He's Hunting not, the prey. He's not pushing hard. He's moving all across from one side of the road to the other. He looks like he's got multiple ways he could attack this. Again... Well, he switches down for the inside and, line. And you can... Yes, you can just good, see it in that attitude. I'll just go back a I was just looking at... I think it was McKellar or... Okay. Might have been Vediger there just ducking the nose out as well, leading up into... Um, yeah, well, he's got a whole lot of pressure from there, so, But we'll just get back onto it. Aztec, mudgy battle as Aztec dips the rear wheel in the dirt. John McDonald uh, on the move too. Uh, currently P, P, no he's not. Okay, my telemetry is telling me a lie. It was telling me that no, he was actually he's, going He's in going six, harder. He's still at 20, so yep. look at Mudgy this time. Has he got, has he, he, was has a lot he got closer, a to the inside? Soon as, the inside? No, no, soon as that Bentley gets out of the slip of the, the McLaren, it has nothing. Yeah, and well, I think the McLaren's got bigger brakes, so that the, 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 the Bentley is a bulk of a car, so... Yeah, I think the Bentley's got bigger everything else to yeah. do with a trip to Jenny <laughs> Craig, to be fair. Oh, just looking at it, I, I tend to agree. Um, but no, no, this is a great battle. Um, Aztec, a, 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 a real sim racing purist, he'll be loving this battle. Um, as long as it stays clean, um, he'll be enjoying this. He, he, he doesn't mind it. You know, he, he doesn't mind giving it or taking it. He's not fast. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely a racer at heart. I mean, all these boys that are up the pointy end here, J-Man, um, you know, they, 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 they love the, the competitiveness. They love the chase as much as they love the lead. So Yeah, I can tell you, talking about the lead, the lead is now a four-way battle for this. the lead. Just watch this. As Mudgy got it, no, he pulls back again from the back of Aztec's car as they go up into Alta. He's definitely got the pressure on. He has. He has. Even here. Even here, he's looking Very, for very clean. Ducking and weaving. Does he throw it down the inside here? He does. He oh, he's it got there. it down there. Aztec's giving him the space. He's run wide. Oh, he's giving him some space back. Oh, a little bit of a tight... A little bit of a touch up, just a bit oh, of a recheck. Jesus <laughs> just a re, re, re cali ah. calibrate the old uh, wheel alignment there on I'll the way to. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you, those boys. Uh, no mucking around. Yeah, yeah. Some so, premium real estate there. Uh, uh, and look, we, we are literally how many laps in? Five laps in, <laughs> viewers. Yeah, I, and yeah, these look. guys are at it, you know. So watch here, look at Mudgy here. This is where Jeffro got him. I can't believe Jeffro got him down on the inside in the end mm. under the entry of Villeneuve there. So, yep. But um, I'll tell you what. Could, could you give us an onboard from? Uh, or could you give us a, a, an onboard three from Aztec? Is that a possibility? Yeah, of course. We we're just there a little bit earlier, and we could see how Mudgy was just weaving back and forth across the back of Aztec's car. And now he's dropped back here a little bit. And give him a little bit of space, but what you watch, just watch how quick he pull, pulls that that uh, that 20 meters back. Oh, as we see big flames out the back of the and uh, the back McLaren. of the McLaren as they come up out of the Aqua Minerali, heading up to the Ulster Chicane. Mudgy being pretty good down here under brakes, but Aztec having his measure as they hit the uh, middle pedal. Okay, now last lap. Now last lap, they were side by side, and Mudgy had snuck up the inside. Does he throw it down there again? I doubt it. I reckon he's, he's the half a chance. He's too far back, surely. He's going to have a go. No. Oh, Aztec covers slightly the inside, which will put him offline a little. Oh, oh a couple of big flames. I, Burn I, the yeah, grill of the building. I think, I think, um... Oh, he's got to run. Can he get this inside? I think the I last couple I of laps... I think the last couple of laps, he's on the inside here. This is looking good. The last couple of laps, I reckon Mudgy was too close to him into the final two corners. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What's this? And he's, he he's got this? him. Look, Aztec, very respectful too. Gives him the space. He's still got a championship to win. These guys yeah, will 100%. be. 
This is a, they're playing a long game. Okay, it's like nice hey, I just want to mention that up the front. It is spread. It's a blanket. It is a blanket covered for the top four by 1.8 seconds over the top four cars. Yeah, nice tight battle. Doesn't look so much on camera that, uh, but you know these but, guys yeah, the are, are moving. Running. Yeah, that's right. That's uh, it's pretty impressive. So it only takes Kenny one Simpson. of them. Kenny Simpson still fronting the Mark Josko. So Kenny Simpson, Mark Josko, Farmer, McKellar, Ash Vertiger, uh battle here. And this one here is this is off the back of Aztec. And if these guys keep pressing on, I can tell you that their, you know, their last lap times around the 44s, 45s, um, Aztec class was a 43. Yeah, okay, so there's a little bit to play for here. Aztec um, probably got compromised due to that pass with Mudgy, but... Um, yeah, for sure. Kenny's hanging in the wings there. Yeah, well done from Kenny there. John McDonald, right up at, actually at the moment, right up on the back of Pete Apsey there, Davo, uh, looking for P17 as we speak. Uh, so that's Steve Melling, Pete Apsey, and John McDonald. That is a very lively battle. Yeah, it is. It is fairly tight. It'll be interesting to see um, uh, just how this pans out. Now, <clears throat> out of the three drivers, I suppose I, I would suspect John McDonald, the more aggressive driver, although he probably doesn't have the car to attack so much. Um, no. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this pans out. Like. You know, I'd probably the most passive driver or the, the most, you know, like, easy-going one is Steve-O at the front and the most aggressive at the back. But, you know, yeah. Steve-O's got the quickest car. <laughs> John, McDon well, John McDonald's got the softest car. So it's a funny little battle that's going on there. Well, I can tell you now that Tom Satherley is putting in a massive amount of pressure as we speak on Steve Cross. And he wants to get past. He wants this podium spot. Yeah, well, he pulled away, I think, from Burris uh, in the he, last lap. So oh. we'll just might pop over there and have a look at that. Yeah, absolutely absent, uh, Druid. There is probably some of the finest sim racing you'll see live, actually. Those guys, a couple of high-end sim races, man. We enjoyed that, as probably did you. So uh, hopefully we see a little bit more of that. Um, so as we're just watching, yeah, so he's... Satherley is monstering him. He's there. He is there or thereabouts if he can um, keep that pressure on. As he gets a good run out of the final Ravazi, he's right underneath the rear wing of that Mercedes. What's the McLaren got for the Mercedes down the Bassa straight? As he jinks out to the outside, can he, can he get down the inside for the left hand? I believe he can. I believe it's half done. Well, he's beside Crossy, him, so Crossy he's big half under done. Brakes. Got the NASA pads on and never going to give up. Oh, oh just, there's contact there. Yeah, there's a tiny little bit. I just need to watch the re-entry here. I just got on board three. We do have a very, very quick Bentley of Mudgy yeah. coming through. Now Mudgy. And he gathers them both up. Aztec back on the scene. So that puts Mudgy up into P4 behind the team yeah. car of Jeffro. Now, that, that was an unfortunate little incident there, actually, because yeah, um, both of them had all the Mad right respect. in the world to, to, to hold their line. But, uh, yeah, just that little bit of contact just upset the back of the McLaren. It comes into that little bit of a half slide, and that, that's all it yeah. takes, mate. And, yeah, look, and, mad respect. Props and you just see... For redressing and, that. and then, uh, inevitably, obviously, the Mark Mudge away... Bentley slips past, so yeah, it's a, it's a heated little battle that one. Um, just a note to mention See, too. That, I think um, a Josco um, Ken Simpson changed position there too. Jackson went um, trading off 42 fives uh, at the moment with um, Craig Stoney, so this isn't done and dusted out the front. Um, yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, so what Josco's actually got Kenny at some point there, David? Yeah, so Josco now leads that mid-pack pack train now. You're talking about throwing a blanket over a couple of cars there earlier, J-Man. Just get a load of <laughs> the, the trainer cars yeah. in that mid-pack. Yeah, true, we, true. we talk about ASRNZ's mid-pack racing a lot. doesn't matter what, what we're driving. It's almost where you want to be. It, 
it's hectic and it yeah. is so competitive. Like these oh. guys, they, they, they all look like they're racing for the top spot. So as we I, just I mean, see, look, Wilton <laughs> looking for looking for a move was, down on some. Was Wilton was it just just yeah. just showed the nose there? Backed out of it. And uh, he, and rightly you get to be so. Now on something like that, and you got Jake McKellar, who's all class. He, he's, yeah. a, he's a he's a race winner here at ASRNZ. Um, you know, he's sitting there going, you know, you, you, you shot it down there, boy. Yeah, yeah you I'll, have, you I'll have a go. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll clean up after you. <laughs> so, um, but no, no, certainly, um, but that's a certainly a good battle. Massive training. I'll just try. Look, just to look out of the back of Kenny's car here. Just say, look at him. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so just an update, uh, you don't have to necessarily shift the cameras, but the front two cars have just rounded up uh, Jarks, uh, let, uh, Jarks, who has actually stopped. So two cars in the field have actually stopped and made their mandatory pit stops. That's Damien oh, Jones okay. and Aaron yep. Enright. Yep. Uh, so that's why you're seeing those two front runner cars actually yep. go There's, past I that think car. Enright, Enright's still in the pits. Uh, he's that. just leaving now. Yep. So, so these uh, boys might round them up at a funny time. We'll just click on Enright's car here. No, I think they'll. It's a long right. pit stripe. I think pit straight. They'll get out. He'll get uh, out. So, so something to mention too that uh, as the boys just trade off um, Jackson coming across the 42.4, Stoners with the 42.7. But I did note that earlier on the piece that Jackson went currently carrying the fastest lap of the race at a 42.1. Yeah, nice and, work. And a 42.2 for Stoney. So, I mean, given that all the talk during the week was around the. Um, Front mounted rear wheel drives, the Aston, the Bentley, uh, and the, and the Mercedes. Yep. Yeah. This is a really, really strong performance from uh, Jackson in, and the yeah, McLaren. Yeah, in, in the McLaren. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we've seen a couple of the guys, a couple of guys make them work yeah. uh, this well. Is, this, so. this is a team that uh, ASR and Z reached out to off season uh, and, you know, extended a hand and invited them to come back and race because of the quality drivers these guys are. And as a team, Jackson went and Tom Savily, man, they are looking the goods right now. Oh, for sure, for sure. And like I mean, we're only in round two and both with reasonable performances so far. Yeah. So, um, and it's a it's it's a long championship, mate. So, yeah. with a with but, well, I think we've got an enduro next week, actually, J Man. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. Jeez, we've got to be up for that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, King, so, we'll have to stock up with the Red Bulls for that one. Yeah, yeah. What do we put with it? Is it Jagermeister or? <laughs> um, we still but anyway, we still need to be standing at the end of it, I think. So maybe just yeah. something a little bit lighter. But uh, yeah, yeah beer grills would be up for that. Um, oh, all day. Yeah, but uh, um, no. Just looking, I just cast my eye back on this battle of um, Mudgy, Savily, Crossland. Um, so those guys have sort of re gathered their composure after that little incident yeah. out of the timber yeah. and, and, um, and just got back up to Mudgy. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, where does it go from there? I think uh, I think, I think it'll bit, get busy. It, uh, towards the end, uh, it'll be interesting to see how they go through the pit stops, you know, each of the drivers. But um, which do you think would be better on the tyre, J-Man? You know, like, you know, traditionally you'd think the mid-rear car, the McLaren, would be a little bit, uh, a bit nice on its tyre, you know, because it's a bit more balanced. Yeah, I, Sure, I know that. But pretty much, we you know talking across the post races in the in the previous two weeks, the shakedown and then round one, which he he dominated both events uh, right through. <clears throat> he was very very good on his tyres at the end. But that said, he got himself into a position early where he could just do his own thing. And man, he's an accomplished racer off track and on you know oh, um, for sure. yeah. in real life and on yeah. some racing. So I think he just managed the tyre. Um, be interesting to see what happens when he's sitting up bottled up behind these cars, temp's a little bit hotter. Yeah, 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 and he's not in control of the race. He's actually having a chase uh, at this stage of the race at the moment, so uh, sitting back in sixth position. Hmm. But uh, Mudgy looking reasonably comfortable sitting here in P4 at the moment with Stavely behind him. Um, it's probably that phase of the race with 49 and a half minutes to go. Um, still a, a 40 minute or just under 40 minute window of the pits to go. Um, I think flavour of the day, given that they used a wet tyre in quali, uh, and the word was during the week, it was worth the five seconds in the first round to go and change your tyres. 
Yeah. And given that we've got a 28 degree track and a 20 degree um, air ambient temp, these tyres will be wearing. So he who chooses yep. not to. Oh, sorry, I was just looking at Satherley just attacking Mudgee down into the yeah. Tamarillo chicane there. Yeah, sorry, sorry, I was actually trying to look for, uh, I think it's Ashley Vett, oh, Damien under pressure. Jones. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Uh, they were just having a bit of a battle as Jethro came through. And they've just literally just stopped what they were doing, let Jethro yep. pass, and I'm That's sure they'll get back button. into it. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, back to Tom Satherley. Now, yeah. this is what I thought. I know Mudgy and that uh, in that Bentley is very strong, but I just wonder, you know, it, does that compromise the tyre when they're going that hard? And, you know, when they're under pressure, they'll suffer from it, you know, like. Oh. And I think Southerly, just sitting back behind, or Southerly, should I say, sitting back behind mm. uh, Mudgy, um, is a, it's a little bit more of a la relaxed drive, yeah. you know, hey, like. Pick up, we just got word. Um that uh, BK in the Sofa King Racing Ferrari got a drive through. I'm just wondering whether that was as a result of um, speeding into the pit lane or something, or a potential oh, cut possibly. He hasn't been through for a pit, so he's oh, just okay. cleared that. Yep. He's just cleared that, but still yep. hasn't completed his compulsory pit stop. So I'm saying that he's been done on cut, so unfortunate for the 590 Ferrari, um, but he'll play on. Um, He'll play on. What do we know? What do we know? All, uh, albeit in ooh, who 20th was that? position. Who was, that? was looking for a pass there. Was that Pete Apsey again? No, it was that Ashley. Just trying to work out who that was. So it was Ashley on and, and Jack still going uh, at it. Back, still back, going at it. <laughs> Man, that's a lively battle. What okay. was that for? B21-22. 21-22. They are side by side again Whoa. into the hairpin at uh, Tosso at, there. At Tosso, yep. Yeah. Heading up the hill to the Piratella. Um, man. Yeah, nice little ding-dong going on there. And Those again, you'd, you'd think they were racing for the top top spot. But this is, um, yeah, 2021. 20, there you go. And uh, what a great... And look at them, it's flat chat. Yeah. Hey, hey, somebody who I, we obviously always enjoy watching, uh, who's just up the road from that little battle there, um, but not a lot of exciting stuff going around him at the moment other than um, great lap times in the 42, mid-42s is Jeff Burst and the other orange and black uh, Bentley, Davo. Um, normally this guy's always engaged in some sort of battle. Um, yeah, no. He's, he's holding down a solid third. Yeah, I think he's he's exactly where that car should be at the moment. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, ran with the boys uh, at the front early in the race, and um, they've well, Jack, moved. Jackson looking for a move on Mudgy. I, I see that. I think he'll be looking for this inside line. Mudgy will be a weight and cover down here. You watch this. As he does, Mudgy jinks the car to the left. Certainly looking to go. You're yep. talking about Satherley. Sorry. Satherley's looking to go around the outside. Mudgy covers, but runs wide, takes a lot of curb. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think. Oh, and oh there's it. contact. Did he hit him? Did he hit him? Can we get a replay on that? Oh, he did. He did. He tagged him. He tagged him. It's a hell of a scene. Oh, Mudgy will be filthy. Uh, so, has that been sorted out? Has that been redressed and sorted out? I can't tell. Uh, yeah, unfortunate incident. Very messy there. But um, Mudgy in the Bentley saddle, he looks like he, he may have just got into the back of there yeah. ever so slightly, J-Man, if it was. Um, yep. Now, Mudgy had been a little bit messy through the, the chicane. That, again, we see Aztec take advantage of that and, and slip up another position into yeah. sixth. Um, well done from Aztec. So, Good, well, how did you do that, Oh, it looked like, looked like Mudgy had lost the momentum and, and sadly just misread a little bit and might have just 
just nick the back of him. Yeah. Okay. What's yeah. it called? Were there, were, were there ever redress or don't want to get involved um, with that? Oh, I don't know. It looked like a bit of a racing incident for, okay. my, for my eyes. Just, yeah, yeah, it was just all happening yeah, very, yeah, very, yep. very quickly, you know, so. Mudgy taking the opportunity to come in uh, uh, after Yeah, that. Pro probably good call. Just uh, yeah. get the boys to have a look, quick look at that car and, yeah, and do his, his piss off. Get him, get him um, out of the traffic as we uh, pick. There's still plenty of time to come back from that. There's still 43 oh, minutes, 40 to go. Absolutely, absolutely not that far behind. So a um, little bit of a reshuffle in the top order there. But uh, I, and, and just, just jumping back into that mid-pack. Now, we've had a few pit stops. Josco is still leading that mid-pack from the seventh down. Yep. Uh, Don McDonald, the first of the pit stoppers, is sitting in P19. So once that shakes out, that'll change a little bit dynamically. So I'd be interested to see a where he is well, on a little, track. Especially with a couple of incidents on track, since he is pitted, that would definitely make uh, give us some changes there. I'll be w wondering whether he, how close he's actually going to be to uh, to Mark Mudgeway as he comes down. Mudgey's leaving the, the lane now. And I can tell you, John McDonald is heading down to the Ravaza. So, Mudgee's still a fair way ahead. As he exits the lane. Yeah, so he's still a fair way ahead of John McDonald. Um, sees him coming out in P17, first of the pit stoppers. Yeah. Um, still going to see him comfortably inside the tent at this point of yeah, time, even with look, that incident. Yeah, well, he was well ahead of McDonald. I mean, really, wasn't he, mate? So... Mm. Uh, I can't see any worry from there. I just picked back up on Cross on there. He's he's sort of dropped back a little bit from that that little pack of cars up in front of him there. Yeah, um, even I think, even, St even Stoney in first place is. Um, I think that's actually is that bloody Damien Jones and Ashley Vediger. It is, I think, just up in front of Crossy still. Yes. Yeah. They're just sitting in behind. Uh, just got word that the uh, the Enright car has retired for the night. Uh, oh, so did it? Yeah, so he's oh, too, much, too, much, too much damage, so they just couldn't repair that car in yep, time to fair, get that car back out on the on Fair the track, enough, so. that, but unfortunate all the same. Yeah, Bad luck, Aaron. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, look forward to seeing you next week, mate. Kick yeah, back, grab a beer, and mm. enjoy the telecast, mate, and, um, yeah... Yeah, bad luck, mate, and uh, we'll see you next week. That margin up the front, Craig Stoney stretching that out from Jackson went to around three and a half seconds now, so um, as Stoney himself actually has run into the 41-second bracket now at some point of this well, race. Well, we, yeah, I see that, and we knew it was going to happen. We thought it was going to happen in practice, actually, didn't we? And um, yeah. it's Definitely uh, with the fastest lap of the race, I might add, though, David. But still, it's, hmm. it's yeah, good top work from both of them, mate. You know, not to detract from Stoney or or Southerly. So, um, <laughs> yeah, not top work, mate. And these guys, solid performers, brother. Like this is this is fast stuff, you know. This is uh, Imola, really high speed track. You know, little mistakes we've seen have been very costly. You know, yeah. and these guys really have not set a foot wrong, and it shows Oops. in their times and where they are on track. So, uh, what's the yeah. margin for the sister car, the other Castro car? What have they got to do to get inside the ten? He's got another three and a half seconds to make up on Gunther Rowe. Um, so he's on the Bassa Straight, so is Steve-O, so that'd be a nice little target for Steve-O to see if he could um, maybe yeah. that's under the back of Gunther. And... Absolutely. Uh, I'd like to know, so Mudgy is currently, I want to see what the margin is down the road, Mudgy to John McDonald, Mudgy 25 seconds off the lead. Um... 25? No, that can't be right. Must be a lot further than that. Um, he is. Mudgy's in 16th. Yep, Mudgy's in 16th. John's 15 seconds behind him. Um, Stoner's doing a good job out there. Be interested to see when Stoner thinks is the right time to come in as he starts rounding up the back actually so stoners is looking at the back of mudgy so 
Stoner's lapped up to 16th already without making a stop. Yeah, yeah, like his pace has been just, um, just perfect. Mm. He's really made no mistakes. It led the race right from the get-go and um, been very solid. You know, hitting his marks nicely. We see quick lap times, you know, continually Crossland from him. Pit. So, um, yeah, you would expect him to be halfway up through the field. We saw Crossy do it last week. Yeah, 43 car in um, the pits. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see where Crossy... Where he rolls out in relation to Mark Mudgeway is Mudgey is coming through. Well, Mudgey's going to get him because Crossy was behind Stanley, mate. So I see, I just see um, Gunther in too. So that's put Stephen up into ninth. Stephen. Yes, it has. Um. No, Mudgy was behind Crossland after the spin, after the southerly contact at uh, at Tamburillo. Um, so Mudgy we'll just watch Crossy as he comes out of the pits here. Long tell you, pit yeah, lane Mudgy, here at Imola. Mudgy's coming takes, to the final two corners. Seems to take like forever. It's Aztec ducks in behind him, then nose to tail. Looks like it almost looks like. What went on Doesn't there? It. There was a net gain there from Aztec. So nice work from Aztec. Wow. Very clean air behind him. It looks like actually, yeah, Stonely and the Mudgeway car are coming up behind. Yes. So Mudgy making some good gains there, I think. Mudgy or Crossland? No, nah, Mudgy. Mudgy making some good gains because he was well behind Crossy after the spin, after Southerly turned Mudgy. He was well behind, so I don't know whether Crossy's had a tardy stop and Aztec's got right up on him, and Mudgy's allowed to come back in this battle as well. Uh, Jackson went coming up on those guys as well. Oh, so Stonely there. Okay, so Stonely, they'll be getting blue flags, won't they? Well, soon enough, yeah. Uh, the marshals are waving the flag. I'm sure for Aztec already, yeah. As he'd want to get out the way pretty quickly. Otherwise, he's liable to cop a penalty for that. It is holding Stoners up. Jackson went is he moves making over now. hay. Yep. Yep, beautifully done. Yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah, that so takes that out. Jackson went running really, really wide in the background there. Really wide. Not sure quite what happened there. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, grab some nick oil. Excellent. We'll just uh, just follow Stoner as he goes into the pits there as J-Man takes a short break. Now, this is a critical stop. We see Steve Melling still in the pits. His car drops off the jacks. Luckily, no double stacking there from the Castrol team tonight, but very close, well timed. Be interesting to see where he comes out. Back group. Stanley still on the jacks there. J Man just rolled into the pits. Be interesting okay. to see where he comes out. So who came in with him? Tom Featherly. Well, he did. Yeah, Featherly came in just behind him in the uh, McLaren, mate. And uh, we'll just stay on these guys. Just and uh, how long are these pit stops? About twenty-five. Thirty seconds if they take tyres. Yep. Twenty-five if they just take fuel. As donors is off the jacks. Definitely still he, on the jack. Now he's off. It. So who will be looking at the first of the stop cars after him would be after Savily would be Jeff first. Where does Jeff first end up in all of this? So plenty Jeff of first clean looking air. For second position here. Potential for second. Take second position. Nice when this, work. When this shakes out, this will actually yield a second position. So a massive net game.
to Jeff Burse uh, in that last run. So Jeff uh, got 42-1 pace in him. Um, obviously, the last lap was an 02-631. So this was obviously his outlap. Yep, yep. So that's that's got him in fifth at the moment. Now, just yep. remembering uh, Jackson still needs to pit. Oh, so Jackson would have been the second place car. So I don't this think could put. Yeah, this Josco could put hasn't low. pit. Apsi hasn't pitted. So okay, that'll put. So this that... could put Jeff Rowe back into third potentially. Well, we'd need to watch Jackson. Mm. We need to watch Jackson's pit here. That's the critical pit stop now. He's the last of the the top runners. Oh, he's actually one of the last cars to do it. There As we go. see, Matt Cook just leaving the lane. Good to see Cookie back this week. Yes, nice work, Cookie. Resident leaving the lane. Just re recently wed, wasn't it, Cookie? Yep. Okay. So, just watching myself, as I see you've got the cams on, Jeffro. I'm just watching Jackson win. Jackson went in the pits as he we speak. He is in the lane. Oh, mate. And he's just leaving now. Jeffro coming oh, down the hill to the this is going to be close. Get back in back at Jackson's car. He's up on the pointy end of the pit lane. Here we go. Still a long run. Yeah, hey, look, Takes I Takes forever. It, it's going to be close. Here we go. He's off the limiter. Where's Jeffrey? Jeffrey's gone through. Jeffrey's no, Jeffrey's just coming around the bend by looks is he? Bit. Okay, yep. so there he is. Okay. No, Jeffrey went through. I oh, know he has. Jeffro gone did go through. He's through the chicane. Yep. He is currently in first place, isn't he? No. Second. It'll be second no. place, mate. It'll be second place mate. behind he Stonely. Behind yeah. Stonely. Yep. Yeah, and he is currently five he, point mate, four seconds he, behind He Stonely. will have to work for that second place because you come on, Jeff, know, mate. you know Jackson's coming for him, eh? Yep. <laughs> and Jack, he's been bloody quick in that uh, <laughs> McLaren tonight, so. Yeah, uh, St Stone is currently seven tenths up in the lap. Yeah, and I mean seven or eight seven tenths, tenths up in the lap with a forty-one nine. My, geez. cut it out. One really? One seconds. What are we looking at here? Really? Are we missing something here. Let's get on to that. Let's just watch him because he's just come up over the top of the hill into Atla. And, he's uh, a second up. He's one point one seconds up. And he up. just flipped through that chicane like it wasn't even there. It's it's a is that, time. Is that Absi in front of him? I think. I hope that just doesn't put him off his lap because he is oh, flying, viewers. He is absolutely on the oh, gas. mate. Every inch of the road and nothing else. Not As quite a bit of dirt. Peels off. Uh, yep, absolutely in. What What's is this lap, lap time? What is this lap time? Damn Are we seeing a first 40? No. Uh, 42. It, five. Okay, so it was obviously based off of... Was it based off of an outlet? I don't know. Wow, just wow. Okay. Sorry for the excitement, boys, but our doubters were telling us all sorts of stories. <laughs> Either way, awesome drive uh, from Stoners there, and um, yeah, he's the champion, uh, championing, championing this race tonight. Yep, yep. <laughs> if I could just get over my tongue. But um, yeah, look, amazing start to finish. Oh, as we see Jackson push the McLaren. Very wide, J-Man. I just thought I'd pick up oh. on him. I, I suspect, like we mentioned, that he will be chasing the back oh. of that the, uh, that Bentley. And there is no more track there. Mate, he is pushing very hard to make that happen. He knows he's got a second position in that car, and I think he wants to make it happen. Yeah, well, Sadly, look, current margins, 5.7 from Stonely, uh, burst from Stonely, 4.2 more seconds, uh, Jackson to burst. Yeah. Um, so Jeff Rowe making a couple of tenths that last lap. The the gap from Stonely to Burst staying quite stationary because yeah. both those guys the last lap. Uh, Stonely slightly quicker on a 42.5. Jeff Rowe 42.9. Jackson uh, was his out lap on a 2.43.8. So um, now, now Southerly is Jackson's teammate. Yes. Yeah. Now he's and he's cutting 43.3s. So. Hmm. Where's our, where's our championship leader? What where is he? Yeah, well, he is he's he cutting forty two sevens. Okay. That was his last lap. But he's, his quickest laps are forty two zero. Okay. 
Okay. In race. Um, okay, so just so. scrolling down, um, obviously from Steve Croston, uh, going back to P6, Aztec, um, P7 is Steve Walton, aka Farmer. Um, Mark Mudgeway holding down P8 after that spin at uh, the Tamburillo Chicane. So he is chasing down Farmer, his old mate. Uh, Josco holding down ninth. John McDonald, a massive race for this guy. We haven't seen much of him on channel. Apologies to John. There's been a lot going on. But he is inside the 10. That is official. He, he did make a, With a, a, pit stop. a pit stop. <laughs> yeah, so that, that is official. Nick Davidson in 11th. Gunther Rowan 12th. Jake McKellar 13th. Um, why can't I bring up Jake McKellar? I can't bring him up either. Jake must be gone. Jake's gone. Unfortunate for Jake. Damian Jones. Uh, he is in there. P13. Uh, P14 is Ashley Vertiger. Steve-O. Not sure what happened to Steve-O. He was just outside the 10 before the pit stops. Um, yeah, he might have had a bit of a tardy he pit stop. He might have had a bit of a yeah, shitty pit but stop. He's currently there. P15. Yep. Um, destroy Troy Wilson in 16th, Pete Apsey in 17th, Matt Cook, uh, 18th, Kenny Simpson, another uh, that should have been up yeah, further. So sure I don't know what's going Kenny, on 19th. there. Um, B Dog 20th, uh, BK 21st, and as we mentioned earlier, uh, condolences to Aaron Enright, Aaron and in the 96 out. car, yep. yeah, he yep. couldn't repair that thing so. Yeah, hey, look, going back up the top, just want to just check on those margins. Stonely pulling out another seven-tenths of a second, that lap on Jeff Burst. So Jeff Burst not having a great lap there on a 43-0. No, um, but he doesn't the, look like he's he's falling back into the clutches of Jackson either. Jay well, he Man. lost a second. He lost a second to him. 1.1 seconds that lap. Get In Jackson that last made. lap. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So um, Jackson, 3.1 seconds behind Jeffro now. Uh, 2.8 actually as we speak and he so was 4.2 the lap before he needs to keep that Bentley in check um, I you know, just oh, it's a tough gig yeah so I just I'm just seeing quite some static gaps at the moment Davo, Mudgy, Farmer not really happening, Josie's on his own in ninth, but you can rest assured that he'll have company from McDonald before too long yeah, absolutely, as we just pick back up on Aztec and just remind everybody that, um, yeah, we must thank our, our technical people, Zero Vision, and obviously our major sponsor, Superior Joint Ceiling. Thanks, SJS, for your continued support throughout the series. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, so, um, yeah, thanks, Zero Vision and SJS. Yeah. Hey, so look, I just want to just... Uh... A little bit of a brief. I'm not sure if you can get a graphic up for us, Davo, but as we I speak, Craig, Craig Stonely currently sitting in P4 in the championship, uh, holding down P4. Yeah, yeah, and let's just have a look at the teams too, uh, because. But yeah, well, just just given that uh, Tom Satterley and Jackson are in the same team and they are performing, as is the uh, Jeffro Mudgy team in the Bentleys. So, uh, as we just see that graphic up there now. Absolutely. And uh, Steve Crossland, yep.
Yeah, awesome. And again, thanks to Zero Vision for uh, all the content and um, graphics and pretty well <laughs> just about everything you're looking at except for, for the rubbish that we're talking tonight. <laughs> um, uh, speak, speaking speaking of, of all things talking, um, I'm not going to go on about it, but for those of you that that uh, that maybe missed the stream last week, which was round one of the GD3 Championship here at ASINZ. It was. Uh, it was a pretty special one for, uh, I guess, for the community, but for yourself, Dave, I just want to yep. just touch on that quickly again. That yep. was your 100th uh, broadcast for ASINZ. It and, was. Um, it, yeah, 100th live, live, live stream. So, yeah, um, yeah awesome. Uh, obviously, for myself, yeah, it just goes so quickly. But yeah, really, uh, really good for the community um, just to be able to bring this stuff to you guys live. And it, we have polished it a little bit <laughs> since we first started. It was a bit rough and ready. But uh, yeah, it's all slick now. And yes, thank you everybody for your kind words throughout the week so Jack, and last weekend. So, so should, should, we Jackson, have DRS, yeah, should we have DRS in this series? Which no. Which we do not. No. Uh, I can tell you now, <laughs> coming down here the Revaza, um, Jackson would have DRS because he is under one second behind Jeff Burst now, so 22 as and a half we, minutes to go with this race. As, yes, as we just pick up out of the back of Burst's car, yep. look, this is an inevitable position change, really, isn't it, J-Man? Yeah, um, I think probably at round two of the series, I think Jeff Rowe, you know, he's, he's a racer. He knows, um, where, he knows where he's going. Yeah, and at the end of the day, he, he might not fight this as hard as you think. I mean, if Jackson catches him and, and, and gets pretty forceful, uh, you got to remember that the um, the comms will be alive in respect of Mudgee's probably already been vocal about, you know, the incident that he had down at Tamarillo with this uh, uh, 600 car of Jackson. Uh, they, they they did touch in the Tamarillo chicanes. He's already going to get it done up the inside here into Tosa. Yep, comfortably, I think. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. As yep. he covers off the line, too. Beautifully yeah. done. Yeah, nice work and, and good respect from Jeff Rowe. He knew it was yep. coming. And, and yep. um, yeah, awesome work from Jackson. Actually, put it up there because, like, none of these drivers, when this happens, want to give that position up. So they. Well, do, you, do you think Jeff Rowe's given up on it? I don't think so. Oh, not at all. And I don't think, I don't think he gave that space to Jackson. It's just, yep. Jackson took the took space. Yeah. That's that's what I'm trying to get at. It's just like these guys don't give over positions. Like this is for second position. So um, yeah, really good work. From, oh, as we just see, Jeffrey get very sideways yeah. out of the chicane. Yeah. He but needs yeah, to be eyes forward because the team car is oh. right behind him. And, oh, and but yeah, awesome work from Jackson to literally make that space down beside the um, the Bentley there into Tossa. So, yeah. yeah, like you just mentioned there, back out of the back of that Bentley. And, uh, look, he is under fire, isn't he, mate? Double oh, barrel yeah, from, he the, is. from these guys. And, he uh, is. and, and, uh, and if, these, if these Team McLaren, these ghost speed racing cars, both make the podium, uh, oh, you, you'll see them elevate trip. from ninth in the team's championship to God knows where. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm no mathematician. But, well, oh, you know. surely you'd think they'd go to, to the top spot. I, they, they didn't have an overly good week last week, no. but it wasn't a, a shit week either. So, no, no, I, mean, I mean, the thing, the one thing they have made it quite clear that they're here to play. Uh, oh yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. They were they were, um, they were invited. Uh, yep. I hear, and um, and they, yeah, they come here to win. Yeah, hundred percent. As we, as just we see, see them get a run. Oh, look at the gear changes there. Hasn't quite got it. Yeah, he'll be patient Crest here. Crest the hill there. Yeah, up up through the Piratella. Jeffro a little bit wide. Oh. Looking in the mirror a fair bit, I think, at the moment. And Southerly will look to get a run out of Aquamanarali here up the hill and maybe see if he can get it done before the Alta Chicane. May have a look down the inside. Jeffro covers, comes back onto the race line and tightly gets it in for a nice apex, a lot better than the lap before. He'll be looking for good drive off a head down to the Revaza. So it's and on. Yeah, <laughs> maintains this position for one more lap. Jeff Rose is like, okay, I'll let one of you go. Okay. But yeah. Newsflash, Jeff Rowe, you've got another 19 minutes of this <laughs> stuff, pal. 
But uh, yeah, um, the McLarens, I didn't kind of pick this. I got a little bit of an inside word that some of the McLarens weren't that happy here, but certainly Jackson and, um, and Tom, they, they, uh, they look uh, yeah, really comfortable. They're all over there. They're, uh, they're so this is the similar move that he put on Mudgy, and this ended up in contact on the way out of this uh, Tamarillo chicane. Yeah. So Jackson just needs to, yeah. uh, sorry, Tom needs to okay. get his timing right here. Okay, but um, Mudgy actually got a lot of curb and was slow. Yeah. Like and Jeff Rowe, gets well out the way. Jeff Rowe didn't make uh, make an inch mistake there, mate. No. He was on point. Here we go. Oh. He's covering this, the... this time. He's not given any space on the inside. He's probably Is he going to go around the outside, though? Oh, Possibly. Dayman. Possibly. Jeffro's got rights to the left-hander coming up here. No, not quite, but this is a bloody good battle. I hope you guys are enjoying this at home. That's fantastic. Oh, he's going to have a run down the inside, which will leave him on the outside down into Aquamineralia. I don't know if he's going to be able to... Jeffro yields there. Thinks better he does. Of it. Quite another day. Uh, that We're just takes... going to get a second on that, actually. Yeah, 100%. That will take Tom Savily up into a podium position. Yeah. We yeah, just see nice him get it done down Tom. the inside there. Yeah. So, that's a, that's a beautiful move. Just, uh, yeah. Clearly, Jeffro just acknowledging the aggression there of Tom oh, over the past absolutely. three laps. Absolutely. And he, he, he knows that, that, that style of racing. He knows. He drives like that. He knows when he's beat, you know. But uh, he, not, not that he gives up. <laughs> no. But, uh, you know, they, like I was saying earlier, when um, Jackson went past, Jackson had to make the space. You know, yep. it, it, there was nothing there, and then when um, Tom's come up beside him, he covered like a bugger, didn't he? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. Um, and so he's still got through. A little bit of not so much happening around the back, you know, from Aztec on through Steve Walton, pulled away a little bit now from Mark Mudgeway. So Mudgeway just, he just falling back into the 44th, excuse me, on the last lap time around. Josie's still doing a fantastic job, as I just actually caught him on my camera, just having a little bit of a fishtail. Crossing. Down into the middle of the revises. No, Mark Josko. Um, John McDonald inside the 10. But for whatever reason, has got... Why has he got Nick Davidson right on his tail? Maybe he's not long made that position. Now, I just uh, noticed just on my data there, also Gunther Rowe has a drive-through. Drive yep. So that's good As for he comes in to serve him. that. So that'll yep. get Ashley. Let's just pick up on Ash. See where Ash is. Ash, so Steve Ash is going to go. Stephen's going to go through. Yeah, I think so, you'll find that bloody Troy will be through as well. And yeah. Pete Epps, he may even capitalise on this because it's a long, long pit lane. Yeah, it is a very long pit lane. Um, he may even succumb to Matt Cook. He will. Uh, unfortunate for Gunther there. Interested to know. I'd say that would be uh, a corner penalty or... Blue He's flag Ken penalty. Kenny's going to get him here. It's going to be very, very close. Oh, really? Okay. Very, very close. Uh, nah, Kenny's got him. Kenny's Kenny got has. him. Yeah, he's got him. Not by much, but he has. As Gunther peels out of the pits in the uh, in the Mercedes, a well-beaten Mercedes again. He had a he had a tough race last week. Man got tangled up very early. Is that Kenny Simpson or? Okay. It is Simpson in the sand. We'll get a 30 second on Simpson. Jay yeah, man. Copy. As he came across the straight there, mate, and um, cleared Gunther easily. He enters really neatly into the chicane. Yeah, um, but it was just on. Oh, was, it just gets that, just on the way out. Just gets that little David. bump, doesn't he, on the way out, and really just doesn't yeah. doesn't deal with it well. And unfortunate there for Ken. There's a lot of hard work undone there. There is, there is. I uh, might just want to mention at the moment that um, that we've got Stoners out to just under a 12 second lead now, so he's building. But I'll tell you what is happening is the two team cars of Jackson went Tom Savile. Uh, with 14 and a half minutes to go, um, are going to end up in a battle, and Jeffro will be rubbing his hands together there um, because he'll want those guys to <laughs> to get into that battle, which will give yeah. him a half a shot at coming back. Yeah, it will be interesting to see what, if any, 
team orders are in place in the uh, <laughs> yeah in those yeah. stealth McLarens there. So of yeah, Jackson um, and Tom. So what's um, the deal? What is the deal there? I'm just going to bring you up. So yes, yeah, Southerly currently sitting P2 in the championship, and um, where's Jackson his, then? Jackson is. All the way back in 26, he did not score any points. Oh, okay, yep. Hence the bad so, team placement. The that's team drawing, that's so. there. Okay, there you go. That's why it looked... Oh, oh. Savile with a big slide into the Tamarillo chicane. Yes, yes. Keepers. Gathers it well, though, J-Man, as I see him. And he's, again, I think Savile literally chasing his teammate he's now. Is it, is it just me? Is he really throwing this oh, car? Oh, no, the, the car, again, four-wheel drifted through Villeneuve there. Um, really, really pushing for hmm. the times. And what's the gap? Is it changing much between the two? Let's have oh, a look. Oh, it's sitting right on the two seconds. We'll two see if we can get it under two. So as we watch those splits come through right now, we wait to see... 2.1, so Jackson just making a little margin there as we come across the Piratella down the deck with Miller Ali. He's actually probably just kept that a little tidier. As Jackson went, actually comes up on the lap car. He's going to lap Gunther Rowe after his unfortunate drive-through penalty. Oh, Gunther looks like he's literally just parked it on the side of the road for them there for a little bit and uh, let everybody go through. Jiffo included. Awesome. Yes. Thank good work, Gunther. Appreciate that. Just watch it when you reverse out. Oh, you probably got the camera in the Merc anyway, so you'll be right. Yeah, I think they do. Um, so what are we talking oh, about? Look Still how 2.1. That is. I'd like to see what the margin is across the line. It looks more like 1.8. Well, it shows 1.3 on my screen between the okay. two. It is 1.3. So very close. Uh, so that's heating up. Yeah, that is donors. heating up. Owner stretches the lead out a little bit more. Yeah, and look, at that's a... Like, oh, as Nick much Davidson, as, John McDonald. As what's much, going on there? As much, uh, you said Burse will be um, rubbing his hands together. I think Stoneley really will be too. Is giving John, it, oh, oh look, it's Dave, trouble? look at Davidson down the inside. Oh, down wow. the corner of Vaza, That's really close. Does he look for an inside? Very, here? very close. As they get out of the final corner. We're going to go back for 30 seconds on that. You'd have to. You'd have to. Get out of the back. What's the deal there? Do you think John McDonald may have go. well the, taken a tyre? Out of the back of John Boy's car here. Oh. oh, that's as close as you like, mate. J-Man. Wow, he had, to, he had to hard break to get out of that. He definitely did getting down into the final stages oh. of this race and, and it's showing. Yep. So what do we got? We got Satherley just about on the back of Jackson Went now. Well, uh, look at him we're, now. We got, we're under, we're I, at a half a second. I've got half a second. It's It looks like less than that at the moment. To be honest, it's like we're in the final turn. Yeah, he's sizing them up out of the Revaza. Satherley's pushing. Sadly, looks a little wide. He definitely looked a little wide in that final turn. Yeah, I think there may be a net gain to Jackson enough for the final you know, corner it, there. It, it's okay, you know, like, a, as you well know, to, to be able to push and get up behind that car. But, you know, the damage you do to your tyre, and then you've got to pass him. You know, have you got yeah. the tyre left to actually do that? You know, uh, 10 minutes to go. Ooh, this is on, but J-Man. Yeah, I'll tell you what, hey, you know, shout out to Craig Stoneley up the front. He's clearly got some serious pace because he's up in front of these guys by 13.3 seconds as the uh, pit window does close. So, yeah, uh, all mandatory stops are made. The guys can still go in and repair their car or do something they might need to. But um, uh, Stone is uh, in, a, in a class of his own here tonight, um, put the effort in during the week. But these guys here at just under four tenths of a second splitting the team cars. Uh, and P2, P3, this is an outstanding effort from these McLarens that the word was weren't great here because of the amount of chicane that was required. So either stumbled on a setup or worked around driving these things uh, to a number. That yeah, so. either way, either way, J-Man, um, a mighty good showing from both drivers. Yeah, you know, like, 
these guys, these guys know their stuff, mate. They're um, very high racing IQ. Um, and between the two of them, you know, like, what a team, what a team up, so. Yeah, yeah, shot, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 100% Druid. Um, Stonely is really showing his, his class out there tonight. Um, we'll, uh, We'll give him a bit of air time when we can, I think, towards the back end. And um, <laughs> I'll just flick back to him now. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll acknowledge him in the, uh, certainly in the um, post-race um, ceremonies, um, I'm sure, because at this point it's all his to lose. As we see him just coming down there. It is, uh, it planes is. Planes coming out both, both both sides. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like... Down through the villainy of chicane. And, and we we mentioned like only about twenty minutes ago, wasn't it, J Man? How he literally hasn't put an inch wrong, like just anywhere tonight. He's just hit his apexes. The lap times are quick, and he's just nailed it. He's had no pressure, um, and really controlled the race, you know, at his leisure and yep. um, yeah, pretty much like Crossy did last week. Not sure week, what's so. happened to Burst here. He ran a forty-nine-four the last lap. And now he has got Crossland ranging up really, really and, quickly. On and him. yeah, now that's that is for position. And we do have is that the Gunther Row car, a back marker just up in front There's of him. There's a back marker. Yeah. And um, we have Crossland lights ablaze in the Pink Panther Mercedes, the Fast and the Dubious. Yes, yeah, so Pink what, Panther is, Mercedes. Is the big Bentley just running into some tyre trouble? Oh, look, like I said this earlier, you know, like, to push these Bentleys as quick as they're pushing them. Oh, Jeff the... Burst just getting a drive-through. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, just that's... received a drive-through for track limits, so... Uh, okay, well, that's a shame. Filthy. He will be filthy. And that it, that it, that position will suffer. Look, yeah. oh, where, where is that going to come out? Oh, man, it's going to put him outside the 10, mate. Surely, 100%. You surely. You may see him down into P15 this at this point. The, the mid-pack here is so tight. There's no way. That's a real shame. Surely he's going to do it straight away. As he's he in does, he's in. Oh, uh, Jeff Rope. Yeah, that little bit of pressure from Crossy there, J-Man. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I, I think he was on the edge with the tyre anyway. But that little bit of pressure from the Merc and, um, yeah, hey, just... Fun. Farmer push him that li little bit more. Well, look, these guys have been coming up, mate. Farmer at the back end of this race is all over the, Aztec. With the mistakes. So, um, yeah, where's nice, the, nice where's work. The, where's the sister car? Where's the team car? The team car's being attacked by Mark Joel's car at the moment. So the back end of this race, really heating up. John McDonald, still under attack from Nick Davidson. We should have probably cast these guys a little bit more airtime time because this has been going on for a long, long time. As Nick Davidson... Ranging, they're going to run into. Oh, as they just round up Jeff Burst. The so Jeff Burst does go. Oh, all the way Davison, back. Davison on the outside this time. Still not enough room. Oh. My God. Classy bit of driving there, lads. Look at the grunt from the Merc. Look wow. at it just pull. So we look out of the back of McDonald's car. McDonald's in a little bit of trouble here. This Merc's looking stronger and stronger with five and a half minutes to go. So Jeff Burst coming up P11, so I probably undersold him there with that drive-through. He has come out just outside of top 10. Yeah. Uh, so eyes forward, Jeff, you may still be able and to put that, pressure on. Yeah, that Bentley still might have the measure on these two cars. Mm. Hey, AJ hey, man, you know, like really. Oh, Savile and Jackson went. He's going for a look down into Camberillo. As he ranges up to the outside, can he round him up oh, around the outside? The flames flick oh. from the back of Wentz's car. Where, where do you look, Davo? Ah, oh, mate, I'm, I'm at a loss. The camera guys are just all over the place. Yep. We are. just keep we just keep calling corners and names, and they just keep flicking back and forth. Yep. Hey, look, I think Savily wins the battle now. I think four minutes forty-five to go. The team car at the back, currently P2 in the championship. I think Jacks, uh, Tom Savily said, "Hey, mate, it's time to go." I'm going to have a red hot go at this. You're my teammate. I'll do my level best to take care of you, but the rest will be history. So hopefully they keep it clean. Oh, yeah. Where is that? Teaser, car? You, you just see them. They're stronger in some Different parts places. of the track. Yeah. <laughs>
Good. I, yeah, well, I, you, I no you, doubt they're driving a very similar set. You watch Severly here through the uh, the Ulta chicane and then down to the Revaza, and then he's really, really good uh, out of the final two corners. Uh, actually, Jackson's doing a great job through the chicane then. Yeah, um, yeah, no, he's, he's... Well, he's got track position. He's, <laughs> he can't go wrong, can he? No, no, he's eyes forward, mate. He's definitely eyes forward. But you watch how Severly ranges up here through these two corners and then comes out here on this final one. Rosadon. So, yeah, spin. yeah, yeah. We saw him do that in practice. He's got that car very loose in the back on turning, Hooked hasn't up. he? Yeah. And it, um, and he's obviously gathering it up nicely because he gets the drive, doesn't he? And a little yeah, bit I, deep, a little bit deep that time. I, I can tell you a couple of few positions down the road that Steve Wooten hasn't given up on uh, making a position on Aztec. So this is a quality battle, and this is a great drive from Farmer. Hey, hey, self, a little bit of it. We, we had a chat off off the air at the start of the race. It self confessed, not yeah. really a up on his face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, now he'll be he'll be stoked where he is, and I think he'll have his head down, and he'll be really focused. I think it. Oh, clearly, it. You know, three minutes to go. So nice what, work. I don't, I, I don't know where to look, viewers, because I'm you know, just back we, at John McDonald and Davis, because, and yeah, well, we've got Mark Mudgeway and. and and Jos Co and you've got yeah. Jeff Burst yeah. ranging up in the background. I'll tell you what, they, these guys race for 70 minutes and they la leave it for the last four minutes to yeah. get into it. It's yeah. like... Um, well, the cameramen are just about uh, ready to pack up. And Davidson on the all, outside of McDonald's. Easily down the outside. He Again, he did, this, down here. he did this two laps ago. Guys, the fake John into a late breaking manoeuvre. John's, so got, John's like, yeah, no. No, He's mate. You're going to have to do better than that. Yeah, five times a champ. I've seen that before. As he covers the inside down into the Villeneuve chicane. Oh, I tell you what, it's a classy bit of driving there from both those guys. Absolutely, Jamin. And uh, as we see him just hit this this hairpin again, who gets the uh, grip? Who gets the drive? The Ferrari pulls well. But and look. I can tell, I can tell you up the front that Tom Savile got another one of his fantastic runs out of the Revaza for the Bassa Strait. And will be threatening down into the Tamburillo on his teammate. Yeah, just watching this uh, a little bit off the side there before. Very close. Look, these guys will have ultimate respect for each other. Obviously, teammates. Uh, yep. I doubt anything's going to happen here. If old, uh, Jackson makes a mistake, Satterley will be through. But... You went, oh, John running at, wide. Look at the body language between the difference between those two McLarens. Unbelievable. Yeah, it is actually, it is. So um, we drop back to McDonald and oh, Davidson. That's crazy. Beautiful mid-pack battle here. Yeah, for, Jeffrey, Jeffrey's bought a, bought a ticket. Yeah, for 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th at least. Back oh, to dear. Jackson, just quickly. And as I the can boys run up into Alta. I can tell you now, with 45 seconds to go, there will be this lap and one more to go by the look of it, guys. So uh, Stoneley will cross the line with only a matter of uh, probably a handful, maybe a dozen or so seconds left to go. So it'll so be this Davison lap plus one more. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I can't go back just, um, okay. for a replay okay. on that. It's just way too late okay. in the session here. We're just watching Went and Satherley run Radio. down onto the start finish straight again quickly. Back to Steve Wilton, was it? J-Man. Yeah, yeah, so he's just rounding up B-Dog on the outside. Still chasing Aztec. He knows he's got one more lap to get this job done. Mark, me. Mark uh, on the back of Josco. Nice work from Josco tonight. Yeah, bit of a um, solid performer there. Yeah. Solid achiever in seventh. And John McDonald dropping uh, Nick Davison off the back I tell you of what, his mate. car. Thankfully for him, yeah. Craig Stonely, uh, just, he's just rounding the Piratella now, heading down to Aquamanarali. We will, we will pick up on Stonely now. Yeah, uh, this guy, all class, uh, hasn't seen a lot of 
camera time because he's just cleared out. Oh, and, look, uh, these, these guys, these overachievers, we never give them any. <laughs> Kenny Simpson getting a drive through as we speak, just sort of mention that. Uh, hard luck, Kenny. Uh, but yeah, Stoner's coming round the final corner. Bit of corners now, heading down to the Revaza. Uh, he is doing a fantastic job. I think Jackson's going to hold on from his teammate, Tom Savilly. I think Tom would probably just give it to him out of respect for being a hard racer. Oh, absolutely. And they're not that far behind Stoner, really. Um, no, nah, look, like... they, they made back a couple of seconds. Stoner got it out to 13 yeah, or something yeah. seconds. But congratulations to Craig Stoney uh, for a, a, just a phenomenal victory Fan, here. At fantastic similar... effort as he weaves and dark. Uh... Yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy the stream, Stoner, because I tell you what, behind you, it was all on tonight. Awesome work from Jackson, Jackson. Brent, Tom Satterley. Yeah, that's an incredible drive from the team cars. Steve Crossland, back into fourth position. He had a toughie tonight. Yeah, he'll relish he, it. He, he, you know, I think he's been waiting for the guys to rise. Yeah, oh, he knew it was coming. Yep. He, he self-confessed. He knew, he knew his, it was all coming up. He just yeah, didn't Aztec, think it was going to be Aztec that quick. Just holding on from Steve Walton. They come out of the final two corners. Steve Walton just never giving up on this one, giving him a flash of the lights. Um, and the Ferrari looking very solid towards yeah, the awesome. end there, uh, Joe Man. Ball. So um, yeah, yeah not, and nice work from Aztec. Both of those guys. Yeah, brilliant. Said they did weren't really prepared for this race, so really. Josco. Josco. Victory made it rain and quality. Oh, took them mate. British weather. He brought his weather with him. Yeah. And so congrats uh, to Josie. He, he's it's stoked. Awesome He'll be P7. stoked. Mark Madre pulls in P8. John McDonald right behind him with a recovery drive, starting from last to finish P9. And Jeff Burst, after that drive through, recovering for a top 10 is an top amazing 10. effort as well. Good effort. Nick Davis, not sure what happened to Nick, and nah. it was a little bit late in the race for me to but he had good drop pace. back for a replay. And But awesome stuff. Yep. Damien uh, Jones. Jake Yep. Jakey dropped out. Jake. Not sure what happened to Jakey there. So Stephen Melling actually Stephen peaked Stephen Melling early. coming across now. Yep. Ash Vertica under the weather earlier today did a great job to be able to come back and finish nice, that. Nice to have Ash here tonight. He could have quite easily uh, missed this race. Yep. Pete Apsey, great. Coming P15. into the pit. Matty Cookie Cork. Monster, 16th. Yeah, Good well done, road. Cookie. Gunther. 17th. Troy, 18th, P-Dog, 19th, and after that drive through, Kenny, 18th, uh, sorry, 20th, and BK rounding out in 21. So that is a wrap tonight for round two, season one GD3s here at ASRNZ, proudly brought to you by SJS Superior Joint Sealing and Zero Vision Motorsport. Dave, what a call tonight, mate. I am just absolutely... Oh, I'm blown away by the quality of driving <laughs> by these guys. You know, the likes of Farmer chasing Aztec, uh, Savily chasing a teammate of Jackson Went the quality of driving. Oh, I mean, John, John McDonald just being in P22 was weird, really. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. Definitely. Yes, Mr. Satherley. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's unfortunate, but um, just let's see how it, it, it uh, flows. Yep.
fantastic effort, mate. Oh, definitely. Awesome, mate. But oh yeah, that yeah, no, no, definitely not. And that's it to be expected. You know, sometimes you come out of a race and think, oh, you know, like I might have might have had a bit of a slip up here or there. But uh, yeah, not taking away from his performance overall, J Man, like you said. And uh, like he mentioned, he yeah, yeah, his teammate, he congratulated his teammate on a position. Yeah, top effort, mate. And then the back end, your teammate came and challenged you really, really hard for it, mate, and you were eyes forward. You did a fantastic job defending that. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, he was letting me off a little bit easy, so I'm going to give credit to him. He did a, a tremendous job today. Um, I think it's really good points for the team. Uh, start of the race was really, really good as well. Um, got a good launch because I'm still getting used to these cars getting off the line. Yep. Um, so that was excellent. And um, being able to trade uh, with Craig for a bit at this front there, that was uh, that was good fun. Yeah, awesome. And uh, just, just a little couple of mistakes on my part that dropped me back and um, a bit in the pits as well. So we'll uh, iron those out for next time. Yeah, well, look, hey, look, we absolutely loved watching you. I hope you do get a chance to watch the stream because you uh, featured plenty of it on there tonight. And um, we're actually really glad that you uh, accepted the invitation to come back and have a race over here with us, mate, because, man, you put you guys are putting on a show. And you did mention it will be good for your teams. It'll also be good for your, your driver's championship as well. So congratulations on the P2, mate. That at this level at this community is a hell of an achievement mate so well done and um hope to see more of you no oh, cheers guys really appreciate it it's good to be here awesome mate we'll talk again soon user was moved well yeah. Dave -o. nice Great. work yeah cool, cool customer too mate I nice. Say. Yeah, nice um, work from jackson all right now come with the man come with the minute we'll grab him user down here he uh, led from the front and Tom, uh, oh, sorry, I've grabbed the wrong guy. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> um, I, I can't get rid of him. Something's happened to my, something's happened to my bloody, sorry, all my data's User gone. Moved out of your hey, channel. Wyatt. There he is. User all my data gone. Hey, Wyatt. Stoners, have you got us? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I was having some tech issues with my bloody team speak there. Um, hey, mate, congratulations on a just a bloody amazing race, mate. You just took it to the boys. You sent it. Thank you, you did. very much. Um, phenomenal lap times in the race too, mate. I think we saw some 41s in there. Yeah, to try to push a little bit. And those boys behind me were pretty quick, so I was just trying to keep the gap. And then any time I saw them get tangled up, or I'd just try to put the, as much pace down as I could, you know? Yeah, mate. Look, uh, what, what do you say, mate? You went out there. Unfortunately, I mean, you actually saw your race because you drove it, right? So fortunately for you, if you get to go back and watch the stream, you'll see plenty of what was going on behind you. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but but you did a fantastic job. I mean, the, you had all the pace, so consistent. You put the time in this week. Um, you know, somebody had to to lift their game and, and try and take it to Crossy because he he did start out pretty dominant. And um, man, you boys stepped up tonight, especially yourself. Yeah, had to put some work in to get there, though. That fella's fast. Yep. Just about threw it away at the start again. <laughs> yeah, look, the Aston. <laughs> had the pressure. Off, off the pressure. Off the line, eh? Ah, bro, that's my feet aren't flash, bro. I had an absolute mare. I like, yep. slipped off the pedals and everything. Yeah. Hey, but, uh, you know, first time race winner here at ASRNZ for the GD3 premium class, bro. That's um, yeah, that's a hell of achievement, man. There's guys that... Uh, that strive for that for years mate and it and it doesn't come easy so well done mate I, i'm sure you appreciate how hard it is to get that top spot so yeah 
yeah, no, nah, I'm pretty stoked with that, eh? I'm sure I've got to be a target on my back now, but it's all good. Yeah, 100%, mate. You've joined that elite circle up the top there, though, for uh, race winners and round winners here at ASNZ. So we're going to leave you to enjoy it, mate. But that was an absolutely outstanding job. Congratulations. Kudos to you, mate. You put the effort in. Came away with the with the treats, mate. Do the mahi. Get the treats. Well done, bro. <laughs> yeah, cheers, boys. And uh, congrats to the podium getters as well. They are pretty quick, you know? 100%. Yeah, nice right, work. All right, Stein, as you enjoy it, mate, we'll talk in a bit. Yeah, cheers, See you, mate. User was moved out of your Good day, mate. Um, that that is your podium from round two here at ASRNZ 2021. Uh, what's what's your take on all that, mate? I'm, oh, I'm, I'm mate, done. The, the, what a, what an exciting race, and it really has mixed up the championship a little bit. So, um, oh, what'd you do to me audios? I've got no audios apparently. Oh, uh, yeah, I we did have a little bit of a mix up with uh, a bit of audio there earlier okay. on, so um, but oh, yeah. uh. Yeah, so, um, yeah, fantastic race, mate. Uh, yeah, like I said, mixed up the championship a little bit. It's only round two of 10 rounds, so, um, yeah, as as expected, uh, sweet. it could go anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, 100%. 100%. Um, I mean, I can't. Honestly, dude, I, I'm, I'm frothing to see what this, actually, what these tables look like at the end once... Uh, race control and um, uh, the points constructors have actually gone down and done their thing. I'd, yep. I, I can't wait to see this graphic during the week. Absolutely. Um, so that we can actually see how this shake down. Obviously, this is all provisional at this point, guys. Um, For sure. So congratulations to everybody tonight that attended, raced. Um, we appreciate the support. Um, I'm going to sign out now. I'm buzzing. Um, Absolutely. And- yeah, thanks, viewers. Um, we'll see you next week for round thank three. You, um, yeah, thank you, Jay. Man, we're gonna enduro next week, actually, viewers. Um, mm-hmm. where are we? Oh, good question, mate. Good question. It's one that I can't answer because I'm clearly not organized. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. We'll see you next week, anyway. Same, same time. Talk Love to you, you then. Love your work, Dave. All right, mate. See you, see guys. You guys. Bye.